Welcome to Strip Cover Lit. I'm Adrian Fort. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And this is another issue edition of Hot and Sticky. Hot and Sticky. It's hot and sticky. Damn hot, damn sticky. It's damn hot and damn sticky in your apartment because it's 95 fucking degrees outside and you don't have the air on. Who uses the air? You monster. Anyway, where should we be today, Adrian? What is our word count we should be striving to hit today? 4,880 words. Still not bad. It's not bad. Still not bad. You know, that that is almost three days of NaNoWriMo. It's about three, yeah. That is accomplishable. So if you haven't joined already, there's still time. Worst case scenario, if you want to join and you do not feel like picking up the back slack, you end with a novel that's 55,000 words. That's fine. That's more than that's more than Slaughterhouse Five. Yes, absolutely. You're still achieving your goals, and that's all that matters. Yeah, get a story out there. Now we've been doing this for a couple weeks now. We've seen a lot of great things, and that's wonderful. We should address some concerns, though, because I know me. I know how I do this. I've been excited for June first to hit. I was excited to get started, and I hit it hard. We need to avoid burnout. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Make sure you hydrate. Make sure you hydrate. Do it's you, a big deal. Do your stretches before you run the marathon. Stretch is not necessary. But it is a big deal because this is your baby for the rest of the summer. And you're two weeks into it. If you've been hitting it hard every day, that's great if you can keep that pace. But if you hit it hard every day and you are burning yourself out and you're going to just flicker out basically in a couple weeks, that's where the issue arises. You've got to keep pushing through this. Now you laughed at me because I said make sure you hydrate. Let me tell you something. A lot of us are probably caffeinated. Mm. Right? Yep. Caffeine, and I heard this from someone that works at GNC, so it must be true. <laughs> Caffeine is a crystalline structure okay. which will float around in your bloodstream All until right. it is used. Okay. If you are not hydrating properly, that crystalline structure will not break down and it will just float through your bloodstream. So say it's 11, 12 at night and you do grab a glass of water, that water will break down the crystalline blood in your blood the crystalline structure in your bloodstream, you'll be up until 4 in the morning. Well, okay. guess what happens the next day? You're sluggish. And you're going to struggle with those words. You will not be fresh when you sit down to write because you were up till four in the morning, not writing, just laying in bed, being tired. Binge watching YouTube videos. Yes. I mean, who does that? <laughs> so guess what? <laughs> Hydrating is a very big deal, Dalton. Look at Adrian bringing it all back together with hydration. Uh, I live on nicotine and caffeine, so... I, I, I just assume you that drink a glass of water and you will explode. I I don't think I've ever actually drank a glass of water. I didn't realize that was a thing. Tell me how so, long it's been since you drank a glass of water. Uh, realistically and honestly. Realistically and honestly, like straight water. I drink nothing but unsweet tea and black coffee. Twenty ounces of water. I don't know. Not within the last week. Realistically. Will you, you give me a glass of water? No. I mean, I really want to see if that how just I could explode. You will explode. It would be amazing. Here's another thing we're going to work in. Okay. Um, 4,880 words. 5,000 words is a pretty good goal, right? At 5,000 words, the 11th, we're going to party like Hemingway. So on Twitter, with the hashtag hot and sticky, you will send, we'll send out pictures of ourselves with whiskey and cigars. Partying like Hemingway. Can we do hashtag hot and sticky and hashtag hot and Hemingway? That would work for me. I think I'm okay with this. Uh, hot, this hot and Hemi. Hot and Hemi. Hot and Hemi. Hot te, hashtag hot and sticky, hashtag hot and Hemi. Because this is a lot of work. This is commitment. This is dedication. This is everything is necessary to be a writer. But you still got to have a little fun. And you know what? If you hit 5,000 words, goddamn good on you. Good on you for pushing through and getting it. So why don't you have a little celebration? Let's have a little fun with this. Uh, we're going to do our best Hemingway impersonations. Dare I say we may be announcing future 
celebrate like this authors with this word count? We absolutely will be. We'll take suggestions as well. Absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of milestones between here and 60,000 words. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that that's fun. That gets yeah. your mind away from things, but it still reminds you, well, hey, you did a good job. That's that pat on the back you need. So once again, if you're creating content and you're creating hot and sticky videos, make sure to share what you're writing. Um, some things that you're using to keep going absolutely as we as we plot along here if you were not creating con if you were not creating video content um, make sure you share with us in the comments mm -hmm. uh, what you're learning about your writing as we go along what you're using to keep going maybe some uh, snippets that you are particularly proud of uh, if you are a YouTube video content creator uh, and get this out please there are so many people participating in this right now uh, we are meeting people that we haven't met. We had no idea. We had no idea what we've created. Uh, so through the hashtag hot and sticky, make sure you're linking those videos so we can find them on Twitter. We have a hot and sticky playlist on our channel. So if someone comes to our channel and say, Hey, what, what's this about? They'll find your videos. Yeah. So we want to include everybody on this and have a massive playlist of writers on YouTube. Right. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. So hit that subscribe button, get on that Twitter bandwagon, make sure you're doing your writing. And we'll celebrate like Hemingway soon.